Hi everybody, happy Friday night. Welcome to another edition of my weight loss story. I'm Conrad Bombardier. I am home, I'm happy. I got up early, got my workout in. Uh, and I'm gonna start on that one. This morning was probably, I needed extra motivation. Uh, I woke up, I was tired. I definitely could have easily chosen sleep. I hit snooze and my alarm went off again. And I got up, I literally got up, went to the washroom, came back, I laid back down onto the bed that I had made. And I was like, man, I could just sleep for a little bit more. And then I thought, when am I gonna get my workout in? I knew that I had to drive back today, go to Ethan's baseball game. I knew that I wasn't gonna be feeling like going to the gym after you know, seven hours of driving and then at a baseball game and then back to unpack and then go to the gym. So I bucked up. I took my pre-workout. I got my workout in. I got work done. I got things packed up. I have a left. And I'm glad that I did it that way. Um, I wasn't going to break the streak. And that's just, there's some days where you are not gonna be motivated to get your workout in, that you may just choose to sleep in or do something different, but make that choice to get it done. Because when I did have it done, I felt much better. I was excited. Uh, when I got home tonight, I was excited that I got my workout done this morning. Now I just get to relax and enjoy. Um, so I'll get to my next part. I had my way in. You can hear there's a football game at the high school in the distance, which is kind of cool. The window is open and it's nice and cool. The Minnesota Falls coming and I could kind of hear the speakers and the crowd going. So that's kind of nice. Um, month three, day 23, yesterday, month three, day 24, today, day 937 and 938 today. Um, I lost 1.4 pounds yesterday and then it was my carb days and then I gained 1.4 pounds to this morning. Uh, so I guess we're back even at that 219.4. Um, I had my snack. Um, last night I did have a couple extra scoops of peanut butter, which, hey, I'll take it. Um, this morning when I saw the scale, obviously I didn't learn my lesson because tonight I had my rice cakes with peanut butter. I had three extra uh, scoops of peanut butter, so call it a, uh, I don't know, a cheat night, a little treat, who knows, uh, but you have to have that sometimes, especially where I'm at now, where I've gotten to the point that I'm at, so that's where I feel that I'm okay now, finally having cheat days, like days, meals, uh, or extra little snacks, so uh, back buys and core yesterday, really good workout. This morning was the legs, legs, and more legs, which means tomorrow is shoulders. I'm going to put in a good shoulder routine. Um, and here was the next part that I was going to tell you. Um, I'm working on, this is my fourth week of the custom workout plan by Adam. And then I kicked it up a notch. And the last week and this week, I've been doing an additional workout, the Rip the 90 Big Arms, uh, on those days. So I'm definitely pushing myself and getting super long workouts. Adam, I don't know if you caught my video or you heard me or what, but Adam sent me a message tonight and said, hey, hope everything's all good. I didn't get a chance to message him, which was funny because I wrote myself an email. I was like, message Adam, make sure I get my update done. And I didn't yet. And then I was at the baseball game and I got a message from Adam that said, hey dude, uh, put together a extensive workout program for you. Check it out, let me know. Uh, have fun this weekend, Adam, by the way, if you see this. Uh, but kind of, I, I replied and I said, funny. I'm going to talk to him on Monday uh, over a phone call, but kind of crazy because I didn't go and look at what the workout was last night. But if you saw my video, I did challenge you and say, I'm challenging myself and going extra. So I'm curious, maybe tomorrow when I go do my shoulder routine, I'll take a look at the program that Adam wrote and let's uh, let's see how extensive it is compared to what I decided to start doing last week and this week. Um, and I, I think I'll just end with this. Uh, 
you know, first, I hope that you're doing something for yourself or that you're doing something for others. And on that same note of doing something for others, everyone, there's, life is way too short. There are way too many people that focus on negatives. There's way too many negative things happening in our world, which I think makes it easy for people to focus on negatives. And then there are just people who are negative and the glass is half empty rather than half full. Change your mindset. Don't be one of those people. You may end up getting what you want in the end, but you definitely are not getting the potential of what you could be getting. Because when you're just an asshole, people don't go for that. So enjoy, I guess, the ride that you're on now, but it's not going to last. And at some point, I hope that you look, realize that life is just a little bit better when you focus on positive things, you surround yourself with positive people and positive things are gonna to happen to you. So everyone, be positive, be kind, enjoy the life that we're in, and don't be an asshole. Have a great night, I appreciate you all. I'm signing off, I'm gonna make another coffee, it's quarter after nine, I got some new coffee, I'm excited. Um, I'm just gonna chill, relax and unwind and sleep in tomorrow. No alarm is being set. So Ethan, we get, we're sleeping in. Have a good night. I appreciate you. Be kind.